All right, in this clip, we're going to show how to get the parameterization of a torus much the same way that we did the parameterization of the uh, sphere in the last one. So in the last one, we started by taking a semicircle and then rotating it around the axis. This time, we're going to take an off-center circle and then rotate it around the axis, and that will make... That was pretty lame. That's going to make a torus for us. So, so let's see. So to begin with, we just need to figure out how to parameterize this, this path here. So I'm using R to denote uh, this distance here. This is like the big radius of the torus. And then I'm using little r to denote the small radius. So the radius of the circle that gets swept around the vertical axis. Um, and so I'm going to take V here to be my angle. So, so far what we have is I'm going to take the parameterization of this circle, which would be r times cosine v sine v. Uh, but then I'm going to shift it out onto the positive axis here. And so for that, I'm going to need to add to it r0. So that'll shift the first coordinate by r and the second coordinate by 0. So that's just a, a, um, a sideways uh, translation. Okay, so then that's going to give me, so far, I've got r plus little r cosine v for the first coordinate, and then r sine v for the second coordinate. Okay, so that's my parameterization for, for this uh, circle here. Now let's see. So I guess I can call this c of v. So this is c of v. Okay, now I'm going to revolve this around the vertical axis. So let's do uh, introduce a sketch of that. Okay, so here's a sketch showing that little circle C of V um, rotated through an angle of positive theta in the horizontal right here. So uh, what I want to do is, is imagine the path that, that this center point is rotating through, right? And figure out what the coordinates are. So if I look at uh, this, um, the one here in the xy plane, and I project it, so let's see, so let's do my projection. So we've got dot, 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 dot over uh, this way, and dot, 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 dot going um, this way, see where would it be somewhere over there then we have that the uh, horizontal one is and I actually sort of I drew it as if it they coincided let me fix that there we go um, so this this one here on the axis would be our oh and you know what let's not call it theta let's call it u there we go Okay, um, so this is going to be r cosine, uh, oh, big R, cosine u is going to be this point here, and then this coordinate over here is going to be um, r sine u. u. All right, and uh, just like we had before, if we look at this coordinate up here on this this rotated circle. This one here is the one that we had um, r plus little r cosine v comma sine v. And so now I'm going to look at its uh, projections in both directions. So if we uh, project this way, or if we project this way, then we will get uh, respectively over here, we have, um, let's see, so this is going to be r plus little r cosine v sine v. So we take that guy and then we um, multiply it against sine u to project that way. And the other one over here is going to be r plus little r cosine v 
sine v um, multiplied uh, by cosine u to project onto that axis. Okay, and so now I can take all this junk and put it together. So we get sigma of uv, our parameterization for the torus, uh, first coordinate r plus little r cosine v, and I'm multiplying the, the cosine u in there now. Um, and then we have r plus little r cosine v times uh, sine u. And then outside we have our uh, little, oop, I forgot a little r there. There we go. So it looks like a nightmare, or at least it would if I just wrote it down. But now that um, you've seen where it comes from, it, it maybe is, is not quite so bad. And so then let's see, so this is, and now we're gonna need um, V to go fully around the circle and U also to go fully around the big circle. So these are both for uh, zero to two pi. So that's our parameterization for the torus. Let me bring in a couple pictures here. So here's our torus and it comes with the grid lines mapped onto it. So you can see that if we um, uh, fix a value of uh, u, then this is gonna be some fixed vertical plane. And so for instance, this curve right here going around would uh, be what a, a curve for a fixed value of u would be, sort of like your uh, uh, rotational east-west direction. And if we fix a value of uh, v, then we're gonna be at the same point on the little circle as it gets swept all the way around the circle. So this would be a curve of fixed v. And um, just in case it helps to uh, show what's going on here, I thought, hey, what if we didn't plot the entire surface from zero to two pi, but what if I stopped it just short of two pi? So like two pi minus 0 0.1. So um, I, I stopped it uh, just before two pi for both variables. So it opens up um, and, and you can see what's going on here. So for the um, value where u is equal to zero, that would have been this curve right along here. And for that value where uh, v was equal to zero, that would have been, oh, let me pick a better color. This one right around, right around here. 